Hi, welcome. This tutorial is about an Arca Linux B and it's going to be about awesome. We're going to build awesome later on. Just a uh, recapitulation. So if you have seen this already on another video, you just skim ahead. But basically we have now three ways to install Arca Linux. We have the Arca Linux ISO, two gigabytes big. We have the Arca Linux D, which is one gigabyte big. You end up in a terminal. You download scripts, you edit scripts, you run them and you have a working system. But there's a third way now. We can build your, you can build your own ISO. So Arc Linux B, the B stands for build and is part of phase four. The vision is explained here in this matter that you use our Arc Linux ISO, you edit a file called packages of both. And then you say, okay, we are, we, we give you full control over what goes on your ISO. I don't think many distros do that. So you have the possibility to burn the ISO. And just like us, number two is just like us, 1st of June, SourceForge, this is what I do. But you can change Arca Linux, the big one, XFC or Moxi 3, and change the applications. But maybe you've decided already that you have want to have Arca Linux XFCE, just that or Arc Linux open box and don't care about the other desktops. But we can also have other awesome, for instance, or PSPWM. We can have a lot more. And in this infograph, I try to explain to you that Arc Linux is having three desktops on the ISO. That Arc Linux D is a very small ISO where you get scripts, the sign means scripts. And with these scripts, you build whatever you want. It's like a Lego box, right? And with Arca Linux, you start with the script. And then we end up with a ISO, with a chosen desktop. But you can choose XFC, OpenBox, i3, Awesome, BSP, W1. You can read. You can choose any uh, desktop environment and put it on Arca Linux B. That's the idea. So it gives us a lot of power. And all we need is now some time to make all these scripts and these githubs. So the last one I have to make a tutorial about for now is Awesome. So Awesome is a beautiful system. It's a Lua coded system. And I guess I have to make another a screenshot. You see, it's an i3 picture here. Get your build scripts from Arc Linux B with git clone. So, okay, fine. And we're going to git clone this here. Control C, I've got it. All you have to do is go, to, for instance, to your desktop, open a terminal here, Control Shift V, enter. We have now a clone, a copy of the scripts online. Go to the installation script, move this here, and then open a terminal in the same folder, of course, so we can run number 30. That's it. Basically, now it's going to ask to delete a folder um, because I've made already i3 was the last one. He's deleting i3 now. He's going to get everything. And basically now when he asks, do you want to clean the cache? Yes, I want you to clean the cache. Remove. Yes. And last yes is now. And that's it. Uh, the script is running and everything will be installed when you come back. You'll have an ISO and we'll wait for that and pause the video here. And there we go, we've ended already. And um, we've moved it also to our documents. So it's uh, in here, in documents, Arc Linux B. And the newest awesome is here, it's here no 0602. Thing is, um, it's actually in here in the Arch Linux B builds in the Arch ISO in out here you get your ISO to test in virtual box you like it you don't like it well you edit the packages of both you see what you want what you don't want rebuild it retest it and it's okay for you on virtual box then you can burn it on a USB and put it on your system and you'll have an Arch Linux B awesome system all right enjoy <laughs> 